Hello from Dr. King Park in beautiful Urbana, Illinois. I'm Bridget Broyhan and I would like to welcome you to the June 2020 edition of It's All About You. Today we want to talk about walkability and how physical activity may contribute to controlling the pandemic. Controlling the pandemic, you may ask? But seriously, evidence points to moderate physical activity enhancing immune function and reducing inflammation, so it stands to reason that a healthy jaunt in the park could help keep us healthy. And while aerobic activity is good, walking in particular is an ideal and accessible activity for most people at all levels of physical fitness. There's also evidence that moderate physical activity can improve common chronic conditions and increase the risk for severe COVID-19, thereby increasing the likelihood that people will survive the virus should they become infected. Moderate physical activity also helps to manage stress as well. Plus, it just feels good to get out and walk. Hey, oh, hi. hi, hi, Ashley, hi, Elsie, how are you guys today? Doing great. Can you tell us what you do for the Urbana Park District, Elsie? Sure, so Ashley and I comprise the uh, full-time staff for the Outreach and Wellness Department. So within our department, we, we manage all of our fitness and wellness programming, whether that be fitness classes and wellness workshops. Um, and even some of our free fitness programming. And um, we do community outreach as well. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of things have been suspended programming and stuff. So I thought we could just talk about what people can still do. You know, they could get out in our parks. Tell us about some of the greater Vanna parks. Sure. Yeah, um, well, my favorite is Crystal Lake Park. Um, so that's where our lake house is. And there's a great walking, running trail there. Um, and yeah, there's nice shade areas and you can look at the water and hopefully avoid the geese and it's just a beautiful place to be. I love that park too. I like some of our kind of hidden gem neighborhood parks as well, which is why we chose to meet in King here. There's actually a really nice accessible walking path throughout King Park where you can get out in the midst of your own neighborhood. Um, I like Blair Park for the same reason. There's some nice walking paths there and then probably my favorite like hidden gem uh, neighborhood park would be Southridge. I really like the accessible paved pathway Southridge, you Southridge. guys, is a beautiful park if you want to come on out sometime and see it. And you know what, when I was a kid, I used to go to the area that wasn't called Weaver Park at the time, but I really like Weaver Park because you can just sit and contemplate, you know, and then you can go on your run or whatever. If a person is not in great shape and they want to start walking, can you give us a scenario for them? Just a quick, maybe where they could go, what they should do, should they just dive in? I mean, honestly, diving in is really the best way. I remember when I was setting out to first start running, because I'm a runner, I grew up in the country um, where you literally just have mile square blocks, and I would pace myself for telephone poles. And my goal every day was just, honestly, I want to make it one more telephone pole further. Yeah, that's cool. Should they take something with them, like uh, a bottle of water or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Bottle of water, um, sunglasses on a sunny day, sunscreen. And maybe for now, don't use public, um, you know, fountains or anything. Just maybe bring your own water. Right, absolutely. And also try to stay six feet away from people. And if you can't do that, wear your mask. And if you're alone, you can take off your mask. But it's probably good to maybe have one of those ones you can just pull up quickly or you know yeah. that's right you never know when you're going to pass somebody on a trail or on a sidewalk so so you guys it's a good idea to stay healthy especially right now and moderate walking is a great way and we have some wonderful parks here in urbana and actually the whole area champaign urbana so we want to thank you for um watching today and if you would like some more information about urbana park district where can they go so if you want any information on what you can do with us this summer, we strongly suggest visiting our website, which is www.urbanaparks.org, or we've been pushing out already some virtual content from our department and a few of the other recreation departments on our Facebook page. So there's some great virtual content and videos out there already. Oh, there is, you guys. Check them out. Well, thank you, Urbana, for watching It's All About You, and stay healthy, stay well, and stay happy.